Hi, welcome to Equizer. In this video, we are going to use Sharp EL546X and EL506X calculator to convert between binary decimal and hexadecimal. So let's get, get started. Now, this is 35 base 10, which is decimal, and we, are, we want to convert it to binary. Enter 35. To convert it to binary, just press second function and then equal sign. Now we are getting binary, so that's one zero 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 one one. If this one your instructor or in, you need to represent it at eight bits, so from right just count four bits. It's up to here, and then we have to add two zeros on the left. So it would be zero zero one zero, and then another four four bits zero zero one one. So it will be represented as two groups. Uh, group of four bits all clear so now I press clear now the calculator is in binary if you want to go back to decimal press shift press second function and then plus sign which is decimal now let's say you want to you want to convert this one one zero one one this two means base two which is binary to decimal so the first let's ca change the calculator to binary press second function bin now we are in binary. Once you are in binary, the eight and eight, nine, five, they are all disabled. They are disabled because binary accepts only one and zero. Two is disabled, so one and zero. So now I let me delete it. One one zero one one. So that's my binary. Press second function and then decimal. So we got twenty seven. Now let's convert this another, uh, this is, as you can see here, base 10, which is decimal, 150 to hex. So now I'm in decimal, 150, press second function and hex. It shows 96 H, so we got 96, which is base 16. Uh, remember, uh, in hexadecimal, we go from zero up to nine and after nine we have a b c d e f so this is, this goes up to 16. now let's convert two b a which is base 16 to decimal this is hex it has a and b so now i'm already in hex if not just press that you must be in hex in order to enter x so two b a to enter b a b c d e they are automatically available for hexadecimal so 2b and then a so the value have been entered press second function and then decimal this is 698 base 10 which is decimal so octal is base 8 now let's convert 48 to octal so i have to be in decimal so 43 and then second function OCT octal. Now this is 53 base 8 that is octal. Now to convert an octal we don't have 9. As you see an octal 9 is disabled because we are not allowed to have above 8. So let's say you have 210 and you base 210 an octal which is base 8 and you want to convert it to decimal so 210 second function decimal this is 136 as you can see 210 will be represented it's actually 136 in decimal so the number will increase if you convert it to octal 43 is represented as you can see here as 53 so it's very large. Thank you for watching. Please thumb up the video and also don't forget to subscribe.